नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई मानो नरसिम्हन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वी बिगिन दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड विद अ कॉल टू ऑल ऑफ अस एज सिटीजन्स ऑफ दिस कंट्री टू टेक द राइट स्टैंड टेक द राइट स्टैंड इन द फाइट अगेंस्ट ड्रग्स द फाइट अगेंस्ट नाकोटिक्स the fight against perhaps the biggest bane that is going to totally destroy the present generation and of course our future and tonight we bring you a mega cnn news 18 exclusive here on the right stand It all started when a Bolivian woman was stopped by the NCB or the Narcotics Control Bureau in Mumbai in September last year with at least 3.2 kilograms of high grade black cocaine worth 13 crore rupees. Now according to reports her suitcase was thoroughly searched. They reportedly discovered phony cavities and seized 12 items that were very carefully wrapped and they contained the black substance. The Drug Enforcement Agency also stated that it is very uncommon to find a black cocaine cocaine. So what is this designer rare drug that was found? Drug peddlers, drug mafia are getting increasingly innovative and ingenious ladies and gentlemen. What is black cocaine? Black cocaine is the mixture of a regular cocaine base with various additives. It's mixed with coal or cobalt. Black cocaine is made by mixing cocaine with coal, cobalt, or an activated carbon and iron and salt. So cocaine is white in color, and this additional substance turns it into black. It is trafficked then as a fertilizer, or fingerprint powder, or pigment, and charcoal. among other things because that's what it looks like interestingly black cocaine can't be used as is so the traffickers then have to conduct reverse treatments chemical treatments to separate the cocaine once again from the chemicals that have been imbued into it but more interestingly ladies and gentlemen black cocaine is difficult to sniff because they add additives to mask the smell and you cannot catch it it escapes scanners it escapes the traditional current prevalent markers and also the training implemented to sniff it out the black cocaine challenge the substance looks different and it has no smell officials say that even sniffer dog can fail to detect black cocaine you can carry it in your pocket and just walk right through and none will be the wiser detection is also difficult and its black color makes it easier for smugglers to conceal it and take it past checkpoints it can dodge color based drug tests too a new strategy that's now been designed by the cocaine cartel to make inroads into india this is after the recent seizures now from about 300 odd kgs in 2022 to nearly 800 odd kilograms in the last year so 21 22 to 22 23 that's the the level of seizure that's happened and that means the cartels also have to get wiser and they have to get smarter to enter the indian market the black cocaine cartel is being run by women so that they don't get caught there are passwords that are used this is largely sub- smuggled from regions like south africa and also certain parts of latin america now this is as per report black cocaine is also sold on telegram on instagram and officials are saying the supplies are paid in cryptocurrency largely bitcoin and this all transactions happen quite a bit on the dark net so cryptocurrency used to avoid traces of transactions bitcoin especially the code word used for transactions related to black cocaine is sanitary napkin now the value of black cocaine in the indian market is anywhere close to 28000 to 30000 rupees per gram now they are usually quite a lot in demand in mumbai goa hyderabad chennai and bangalore i have to tell you again that black cocaine is smuggled into the country then it has to be separated it can't be consumed as is but there are other designer drugs too which are increasingly becoming a threat and they are also being consumed in combination which adds to the entire drug menace 
Before we go across to two very senior voices who in the who have been who have committed their life towards the crackdown and this fight against narcotics, let's go across to Yesha Kotak, who's got us this story. She's joining us from Mumbai. Yesha, take us through the story, through the details. Does it stop only with black cocaine, or are there other forms of this drug, and are there other designer drugs too? Uh, so, in fact, uh, what we understand, in fact, the sources had said that black cocaine is just the first designer drug to have entered the Indian market. When you ship out markets such as US and other countries, it has been there for around two decades already. Mm. But black cocaine is just the first uh, designer drug in the cocaine category to have entered market. In fact, as a part of our investigation, when we checked the dark net, there were yellow as well as pink cocaine that were available. Mm. So when we speak about cocaine. Uh, here, there is a variety of uh, designer drugs that are being manufactured when it comes to cocaine. But apart from that, mm. imported um, imported ganja, apart from that hydro ganja, these are some of the various designer drugs which are now in market. So let us understand the kind of uh, audience that these that these designer drugs cater to. Mm. Like we've said, it's it's an expensive drug, anywhere between twenty eight thousand to thirty thousand per gram, which means it caters to. It, it caters to a market which is a high market, and which is where we see that most of these uh, most of these cartels are busted around the festival season. Mm. In fact, uh, the biggest cartel that was busted by NCB uh, later uh, in uh, December 2022. This was around the Christmas time, and it was this particular cartel was operating out of Goa. Right. There were females who had bought in uh, this black cocaine uh, from Latin American country to Mumbai. And which is why we see that the demand is higher in countries which are metropolitan countries. Uh, sorry, metropolitan cities, which clearly means uh, uh, Mumbai, Bangalore, are among the places which are hub for these uh, for black cocaine. And the most openly is such that because it's a larger cartel, mm. it is not easily sold to peddlers. Peddlers, we understand, sell uh, sell uh, drugs which are in a lower range. But this, right. because it's a high range uh, uh, drug, which is why we see the use of for uh, darkness. Apart from that, Instagram groups. There are, in fact, Instagram groups which cater particularly to ensure that they reach out to their customers, and there are Telegram groups also, uh, which are formed in order to ensure that there's a delivery. Now, uh, when we speak about darknet, to which these uh, cartels operate, or to which uh, black cocaine is, in fact, uh, sold to people, it is like any other uh, online platform, any other online website to which you make purchases. But it's just that to darknet, uh, there is no transaction details that can be easily sought. Apart from that, Bitcoin transaction or cryptocurrency transaction, they cannot be easily, uh, easily, uh, easily bought by the uh, central agencies or, for that matter, right. state agencies. They would need to investigate, and that kind of an upgrade is required, uh, particularly from the part of those uh, investigating this case. Which is why, for uh, for peddlers who are into high end drugs, or for that matter, peddlers who are in fact ensuring that uh, these kind of designer drugs <laughs> are bought into Indian market, they opt for, for platforms such as Darknet. Yes. Right. Yesha, phenomenal job done. Uh, we've got the experts also coming in, so I have to uh, thank you, and also say that continue this job. The, the Maharashtra Police, the Narcotics Control Bureau, uh, the law enforcement—they're all doing phenomenal work. This is just—they'll they'll just get increasingly ingenious, ladies and gentlemen. But we need to be watchful, and we need to be aware. Let's go across to B.V. Kumar Ji, former NCB chief and also Dr. G. Shri Kumar Menon, counter-narcotic specialist who should be joining us any moment now. But first to B.V. Kumar Ji, Namaste and Jayan. Thank you, sir, for speaking with us. Uh, your thoughts on our investigation and this report that we've put here on News 18 about the issue of designer drugs. Now, there has been a huge consignment that's been caught in Mumbai, but that brings to the fore the ingenuity of these drug cartels. Black cocaine, pink cocaine, hydro uh, ganja, Yellow cocaine. Your thoughts? Yeah. Now, if you see the last three, four months, a series of small consignments are coming to Bombay and are being intercepted both by the DRI as well as the Mumbai Airport authorities, so also the NCB. And earlier, during the period, uh, if you see, what has happened is uh, earlier African nationals from African countries, particularly Nigeria, Zambia, and other places, they were coming. Right. Now, since that became a familiar pattern, the enforcement authorities have become alert of the source from which the drugs have been transiting to India. Hmm. Now, what's happening is from Colombia, it comes to uh, one of the uh, countries, then comes to Dubai ultimately, 
from uh, or sorry before coming to dubai it comes to an african country comes to dubai and then probably one of these african nations have been giving so this has become a familiar rule now they change their mode of operandi and bringing through passengers coming from addis ababa ethiopia yeah. the last three four seizures are from both indian nationals as well as african nationals coming or uh, traveling from addis ababa so that has been a, a trend but what is worrying is the quantities those small are coming like mules these mm. are the passengers who are regularly bringing these contents at different ports changing from say bangalore bombay dan delhi or even calcutta and other places this okay. that is what is happening during covid since the airport uh, travel was very restricted they used mm. to bring by ships large consignments and other things now the okay. trend has changed and since the airports are freely available pay, people are able to travel and other things without uh, any restrictions for covid now they are bringing through these uh, passengers mm. that is what is happening mm. but what is important is for the dra as mm. well as the ncb is it's not enough if we just make the seizure at uh, the airport point we should yeah. allow the passenger to move across into the town then follow up and find out where to whom they are exactly delivering yeah. ncb has done in one case they mm. apprehended in, in february one african woman Right. Who who was caught, and then she clearly mentioned, "I have to go to a particular place and deliver to another lady." Hmm. So they allowed this lady to come and waited at the place incognito, and they were able to apprehend another African woman who, I mean, she conceded and admitted that she was to receive the consignment. I'm sure they must have followed up to find out to for whom she was working. Right. So hmm. that is the system that has to be traveled. Hmm. Now, what is worrying is Australia is emerging as a major country of consumption. and also transit to india earlier in bombay we had major consignments which came from australia and today i was surprised to read the, the latest report of uh, the international narcotics control board on cocaine on mm. out that australia is almost becoming a competing nation with usa in terms wow. of consumption that's a very dangerous trend particularly right. for us in india because we have a mm. lot of communication with australia both in terms of trade in terms of uh, people studying there and other relations for tourism uh, to uh, they are trying to promote tourism also yeah. so that being the case we have to be extremely alert of mm. any passenger or any consignments coming from australia the, so that is very important right but uh, vivi kumar ji the other challenge for uh, us uh, and also the law enforcement is and the uh, sleuths is how do we catch these cartels who are increasingly becoming ingenious and also innovative uh they mix it with alcohol try to smuggle it in they try to do it with uh, talc earlier now it's coal they are masking the smell also so the sniffer dogs can't also sniff it out how do we prep for something like this so the demand is indicated by one or two things for example the price last year was 5000 now it has become 8000 the quantity which was seized last year was 310 now it has become 817 kg yeah. according to the ncb figures and other things but what disturbs me is not to uh, to sort of uh, prevent the uh, smell or anything like that but if people trying to enjoy cocaine with other drugs for example combine it with ecstasy combine it with uh, meth methamphetamine and mm. others to get probably a, a higher kick and probably at a shorter time and other things so that is a dangerous trend mm. so that is one thing that is happening and now the holiday season coming and other things yeah. and uh, the students and the children or the uh, youths having holidays and other things so we have to be extremely alert to find out uh, uh, whether uh, the in incoming consignments will increase and other things that's what we have to be extremely careful but uh, let me ask you this uh, how do we catch you said Lee, we need to get to the bottom of it we also need to uh, ensure that we track the people the entire route and the conduit but how difficult is to get rid of cocaine addiction So addiction cocaine is a very difficult uh, drug to de-addict persons uh, under cocaine because people who are addicted to cocaine they will not be able to perform uh, mm. any particular uh, responsibility unless they take uh, cocaine either in the form of injection or snorting mm. or even uh, combining it to alcohol and taking and other things see uh, in USA they have found out certain doctors performing surgery are unable to do unless they take an injection of cocaine before they perform the surgery it enhances mm. your your uh, skills at that particular time and for a shorter time and other things 
But later on, of course, it's a killer and uh, ultimately it leads to their uh, deterioration in their health and other things. Hmm. That is the dangerous part. Hmm. But uh, it's very difficult in the short uh, term to prevent the addiction in cocaine. Other drugs, they can be, the addiction process can be put through, for example, in heroin and other things. In hmm. cocaine, it becomes very difficult. Uh, B.V. Kumar ji, please stay on with us. G. Shri Kumar is also with us. Uh, G. Shri Kumar Menon ji, namaste. Now, black cocaine, uh, pink cocaine, uh, designer drugs. How big a challenge yeah. is this going to be very soon? Uh, Anand, if you see the latest UNODC report 2023, Nigeria tops the world in cocaine hmm. trafficking. Hmm. And uh, we need not be surprised that uh, some of it is coming into India because we have a population of 10,000 Nigerians here. Hmm. And um, these people, the moment they land in India, the problem is they destroy all their travel documents. Right. And uh, and the another problem is, uh, I think you will recall, uh, B.V. Kumar sir will also recall, a few years back, there was a big problem in Goa. Hmm. And um, what happened was the entire Goan population wanted the Nigerians to be kicked out. And yes. uh, one minister, uh, unfortunately, in public, he told that all these Nigerians should be kicked out. Mm. The immediate reaction was that a Nigerian minister told, we are also having Indians here. There are 65,000 Indians in Nigeria. Correct. Second generation, third generation. So, I mean, it was a veiled warning to us mm. that if we do something to them, they are going to retaliate. Right. So, this is a very complicated scenario where we are unable to do anything to these people. And uh, most of them, even, you know, very elderly people are coming on student visas. Hmm. Because, you know, our universities have left it open for them to come. Right. And uh, if you see all the metro cities, hmm. Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad. See, this is where, and Punjab also, this is where the cocaine consumption is very high. Hmm. Because you have a state-wise profile, you know, you can have. Like, for hmm. example, in Kerala, you don't find much of uh, cocaine. Hmm. There it is more of ecstasy. Hmm. In some states, it is uh, heroin. Yeah. Some states, it is MD. I mean, uh, it is uh, Yaba. Mm. So, this problem is there and uh, cocaine coming because it is very expensive. And it is called as the king's habit. Mm. So, ordinary people can't afford cocaine. It is going to the elite level of people. Right. And as you know very well, that most of the film stars and mo models are uh, into abusing uh, cocaine. And in this particular case, which has been detected in Bombay, uh, the one of the uh, persons has come from Hyderabad. Mm. So obviously this consignment was meant for Hyderabad and Hyderabad is a known location for cocaine consumption, especially by the film world. Mm. So uh, this is how it is, Anand. <laughs> Very right. it, complicated no, it, scenario. No, it is, a, it is a complicated scenario, but I see one is there is demand, so that's why it, there is supply. But yeah. Is it enough only to stop the supply and how can we stop the supply if they are becoming so ingenious? That's that's the larger question because they are getting very innovative and they see India as a very fertile market. It's a sad uh, statement but true. See, our agencies are doing a wonderful job. In fact, every agency, in fact, in this particular case, I should say we should compliment the DRI because it was not only the carrier who was caught, even two or three other re leaders have been apprehended. Mm. So now, from further interrogation, we'll have to find out who were the people. See, it is 20 crores. Yes. And 20 crores is not a small sum of money. I mean, so mm. Mm. somebody mm. financing 20, and this is just only one consignment. Correct. Like this way, so many consignments would have come into the country or it is coming. So who is financing all these things? Now, even if you recall that Mundra seizure, 3,000 crores yes. is something mind-boggling. Even your state government does not have budgets of that magnitude. Right. So, who is behind this is something, a very big challenge. It is not that easy. And as you know, Anand, see, all our agencies are working with skeleton force. Hmm. Whether it is DRI, whether it is NIA or NCB, all of them are working with a skeleton force. An unfortunate trend is whenever there is a case detected, all these agencies are coming into the picture. Yeah. Including ED also. Including ED. Hmm. Now the problem is, you know, either you have in place a multidisciplinary agency to investigate. Hmm. Now what happens? Suddenly DRI comes in, they do part of it, then it's handed over to NIA, then it goes to ED. Now what happens? Ultimately nothing happens. Correct. 
by the time you know the all these people they get sufficient time to cover up their tracks and, and to also the change their entire modus operandi or reinvent themselves and yeah. repackage themselves and come back so so you are saying yeah, we need no, to have a multidisciplinary we need to do have a multidisciplinary task task force so then the crackdown is comprehensive and everybody from every department is there so there is no bureaucracy or red tape that delays the crackdown yes. and and uh, eradicating the network my final question i have See, limited yeah. time so bivi kumar ji this women being used and they being part not just as couriers but also or part of the entire network and code words like sanitary napkin this also has come to the fore your thoughts sir yeah that that's a very common thing not now from the good old days the yeah. hawala dealers uh, hawala racketeers particularly used to use code for example the word inspector hmm. now that's a nine digits uh, nine alphabets which doesn't repeat itself for example it is i n hmm. it means a 10 and any other alphabet is a zero hmm. so if it is 10000 then you have to put i n and the three zeros like that they had a code system hmm. long back it's hmm. nothing new they used to even in tamil couplets they used to have a code so uh, they are very ingenious compared to uh, what we can imagine what we can imagine jishri kumar menon women being involved quick word sir women are very commonly used as even children are used by women now you see in kerala young girls as young as 9 years and 10 years are being used for trafficking oh. the latest case in kerala which is now creating such a big sensation is the right. 10 year old girl she has been addicted so much and she has been used as a trafficker and like this way there are many other young girls right so this is a this is a very common modus operandi as uh, bibi kumar sir said right i mean employing girls has been a very age because as you know we have a soft corner for girls and we don't try to uh, you know subject them to as much of a detailed scrutiny as we do for men correct so, so that is being exploited and well so so we have to wake up to this reality and this the suggestion of a multidisciplinary task force to crack down on this narcotics menace is a very very uh, you know apt one perhaps and let's hope there is some thinking or work in that direction jishri kumar menon and also bivi kumar ji thank you very very much for your time thank you